This is Behind the Scenes. I'm Scott Sexsmith. Robert Stephen Wright will serve 12 years of a life sentence before being eligible for parole for the 1998 murder of Renee Sweeney. Sudbury.com's Jenny Lamutt was in the courtroom and joins us now. Jenny, how did Justice Robbie Gordon determine the length of the sentence and the parole eligibility? Were there mitigating factors? There were, and that's essentially what he told the courtroom, that uh, if he could just go by emotion or a desire for vengeance even, that his job would be very easy. But it's about finding the aggravating factors and the mitigating factors in order to determine, as second degree murder comes with an automatic life sentence, that is what Robert Stephen Wright is facing at this point. But he will be eligible to apply for parole at 12 years. Some of the factors that Justice Robbie Gordon included, he stated, was that it was an extremely violent and horrific crime. And Renee Sweeney's family has had to endure 25 years of questions. On the other hand, Stephen Wright has been what he called a pro-social member of his community. Though he's been living in North Bay, Ontario for some time, he grew up here in Sudbury, but he has not been in trouble with the law. He has a close family. He has several friends. There were more than 30 character reference letters that came in. And since the time of this crime, there's really been nothing from Stephen Wright other than what you would consider an average citizen. And these were some of the factors that Justice Gordon said he considered in coming up with this uh, parole eligibility. Uh, What about defense counsel uh, and their position on appeal? Do they believe that they have grounds? Uh, Yes. Um, Michael Lacey has been quite clear throughout the sort of last portion of the trial that he did believe that he has grounds for appeal, likely based around what he says are some uh, um, inappropriate language within the closing arguments. Um, But additionally, just after this, uh, um, the sentencing was announced, he said it was partially because the trial was here in Sudbury and that he didn't believe that Stephen Wright could ever get a fair trial within this jurisdiction. So he did state that there will be an appeal in play, but at the moment, it's not going to be handled by Michael Lacey. It will be handled by a lawyer from Toronto named Joseph Wilkinson, who is a, an appeal specialist, and he'll be taking it from that point. Um, under my understanding of the court rules, it'll be within 30 days of the sentencing that we shall hear about an appeal. So it's a sort of a watch and see uh, a moment at the, right now. So 30 days uh, for the appeal, Jenny, but I'm guessing uh, much longer for this to play out. Much longer process. I have a feeling this is going to continue for a a very long time. Um, In the courtroom, when it was announced, you could clearly see that the Sweeney family was disappointed. They were really hoping that it was going to be a longer, uh, the the Crown submitted 18 years. Several members of the jury, in fact, the majority of them said more than 20 years before parole eligibility, while defense went in at 10. So I think the Sweeney family was hoping for more, but as I spoke to them after the trial, it seemed that more than anything, they were relieved that this portion of their life is over. And regardless of the the appeals from this point, they're just going to keep moving forward. It's been an extremely long journey uh, for the family and everyone involved. Great work here, Jenny. Thanks for this. And as always, thanks for taking us behind the scenes.